It's time to talk F1 and it's time to be joined by Noni Edwards. How are we, Noni? Good evening. Yes, very, very happy to be here. It's time for this as well. I'm doing this mainly for Chris's benefit. Oh, yes. I love it too. Uh, this get, gets us in the mood for a bit of F1 chat. Uh, Mexico Grand Prix. Uh, we are, what, two days out now, or two days past the race. Um, won by Max Verstappen. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> you you spoiled the punchline there. <laughs> um, yeah, talk, talk to us about it. What were your main takeaways from it? Okay, so getting the result out of the way first, it was Max who won, and he got a new record. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he broke his own record of the most number of wins in a season. Right. He now is on 16 wins per season. He broke his own record of 15. Broke 16 out of, eight, out of 18, 19. is it not? Uh, 19. So who's won other than so Max? Perez. Perez. Perez twice. And then you've got Carlos Sainz, who won over in Singapore. So the only three that he hasn't won, if our memory serves me correct, he didn't win Saudi, he didn't win Azerbaijan, and he didn't win Singapore. Saudi and Azerbaijan were won by Perez. Noni, I'm looking at you. And then it was Saints Jr. You're the brain for stats, you are. Singapore. Question for you. We're going a bit off topic here, but did Mercedes win a race last season? Yes, they won the first one, did they not? Russell. Hamilton didn't. Did George yes. Russell win a race Russell, last season? Russell won Sao Paulo last year. Yeah. Ah, so in the last two seasons, Mercedes have won the grand total of one Grand Prix. That's, that's, that's incredible, it's isn't insane. it? So far. Yes. Yeah, you're Come right. on. Come on, Noni. Do you think Mercedes are going to win a race between now and the end of this season? Honestly? Well, George has got form in <laughs> Brazil. Okay. That's okay. True. All right, I'm going to note this down. There's We're going to clip this up for next week. There's, 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 there's you're, a vibe. You're expecting it. There's a Mercedes vibe. I'm it's, hoping for it. Damo Reed has spent the b best part of this year <laughs> telling me that Lewis Hamilton is about to announce himself with some <laughs> dramatic victory, and it ain't happened no, yet. It Oh, <laughs> Aren't you feeling it though? Aren't you feeling no. the, the momentum? No, no, I'm not, I'm not at all. But then I'm not paying as much attention to it as you are. So what, <laughs> talk to me. Why is there momentum with Mercedes all of a sudden? They had a great race, uh, this, this race. So I think the cutest thing about the result was that Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc both ended up on the podium. If you remember the previous race, they both ended up disqualified. So that's a nice little contrast between the... And as I recall, Hamilton was actually reeling in Verstappen towards the end of the race. In the last race, yes, the last race. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he had another he had another belter of a race as well. Okay. That is good. Okay, yeah, I mean, he is overdue. He must be absolutely chomping oh, would, to get to get back on the... bite your hand off for one of our race victories in the next three. We're down to the final three, for goodness sake, this year. Brazil, as Noni rightly points out, Mercedes, winner there last year. You've then got Las Vegas, which is... Brand new. Brand new. Not, you know, no, who knows who will perform well on the strip of Las Vegas. Now, looking That's forward the to that only one. race. Abu Dhabi aside. The, 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 really the talk is it. that Ferraris will do well. Is it really? Yeah, really? Yep. I expect them to do well in Las Vegas. Yep. Interesting. So there was a dramatic start in Mexico, Noni. Talk us through it. Yes, there was. It was the first corner once again. Uh, Red Bull's Sergio Perez, unfortunately, is the star of this big <laughs> drama. His home race. Uh, some say that he fell victim to the home race curse. That crowd that you were talking about previously that was in, that was in Texas, the home crowd for Sergio Perez, I mean... They were all there for him. Oh, the course. stadiums were full for him. He was feeling the pressure. There's also been a lot of pressure from his uh, position at Red Bull. Uh, yeah. Despite the fact that he has a contract lined up for next year, there is a lot of talk about whether he is going to be around next year. Anyway, lights went out. There were two Ferraris on the front row. There was Max Verstappen in, in position three. Somehow the Ferraris managed to split. Max went straight up the middle and then Sergio Perez from position five tried to get around them on the outside. And as we've seen before, three into two does not work. No. Uh, Sergio Perez ran into Charles Leclerc and he went into the gravel. Oh, that was the end of sickening. the race for Sergio Perez. Oh. The first corner in his home race when oh. he really needed some mojo back. It was, it was, anyway, we've got Sergio Perez talking about how he came to terms with it. To be honest, I really feel it's a, it was a racing incident. Um, the gap was there, and obviously, as a driver, you take a risk going three three cars into turn one with these white cars. And um, I took a risk that um, I paid a high price for it. 
He's taken it remarkably well from that interview. Can't you hear the tears? <laughs> it was a in racing there, incident. Shrug. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he said that he thought that Charles Leclerc would break sooner. Right. I, there was <laughs> quite a little yeah, bravado the first in that corner. I mean, everyone is trying to put their stamp on the race. He, he, there are no regrets from him. He does not regret going for it in his home race. He had, okay. Well, he had everything to lose, but you know, he doesn't yeah. regret doing it. Yeah, fair enough. I, I just for him. Just not be really getting started with his own home Grand Prix, yeah. not not hearing the cheers of those fans at all, and he's out. I mean, he must that must have been a long two hours while they completed that race, and I, he was there back in the pits. I think a lot of people expected the crowds to dissipate after that, but they didn't. They hung around for the for the racing. Yes, of course. Yeah, imagine that they all just start leaving <laughs> in their droves. But um, it's made it interesting for the drivers' championship. It has indeed. Okay, so Sergio Perez has basically been in position two after his teammate Max Verstappen the entire season. However, the gap has now now narrowed. Uh, it is twenty points between second place Sergio Perez and Mercedes Lewis Hamilton in third, and Lewis Hamilton says he's just going to go for it. It's mostly t- dependent on Checo's weekends, really. Um, you know, they have the championship winning car, so I mean, um, he's just been unfortunate, I think, in some scenarios. Uh, I, obviously, I've lost quite a lot of points the last two races, but uh, he he lost points today, so um, it swings and roundabouts. I think it. Coming into the weekend, having lost the points last week, I didn't think I would really be in shooting range, particularly. But after today, we'll give it our best shot. And it's a mark of Max's dominance that a man who's not won a race this season could yet finish <laughs> second yeah. in the Drivers' Championship. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Although I suppose to do that, he's probably going to have to win a race, isn't he? He might be able to finish second. And if Perez crashes out he's again... He's on good form. Robbie, yeah, he's he on is. really no, good I'm, form. I'm just trying to think how Lewis gets past 20 points in the last, what, three races left. Mm. And maybe not, be, he might get oh. a race win. Uh, although, no one is telling me that. Well, again, Brazil, Mercedes did well there last year. Yes. If Ferraris are going to be dominant, or we expect them to be dominant in Las Vegas, and we know Red Bulls are pretty quick around Abu Dhabi. So yes. Yeah, he's got to go some. It's, I mean, Sao Paulo's their best shot. Yeah. It is, because they, they like the altitude. And Lewis is coming off the back of... I'm seeing here the fastest lap of the race. So yes. that's the momentum you were talking about. That's why we should get excited about Mercedes prospects. His boss, Toto Wolff, described uh, this weekend's drive as perfect. Mm. And he apologised. He said, we've just got to, got to get you a car to match. So he hasn't lost his... Yeah, there's the momentum you wanted. Ability. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he'll be, what, 38, 39 yeah, next Lewis year, is, he's Lewis. On. He signed a new deal, though. And, and listen, let's just give him a car. I think I speak for all, even Max Verstappen's most hardened of fans, when I say let's get a little bit more competitive cars on the grid for the next year and let's have a bit more of a ding-dong battle because 16 race victories, yawn, 16 from 19, really? And I know Noni hates when I get on my high horse. <laughs> hates <laughs> more so when you get on your high horse, Robbie. But well, come on. Development-wise, Lewis was explaining at the start of this season they were three seconds behind the Red Bull they've now narrowed it to 20 uh, sorry two tenths of a second okay I mean wow I mean, so that's, that's they should be they it, just do it, not it, want to start the next season three seconds no. behind them is there a massive inquiry as to why they botched it so massively at the at the last season because they had a whole season knowing they were they were behind the eight ball last season and they completely dropped the ball in the off season uh, forgive me Noni heads from, of roll from, from certainly from what, what I'm reading Red Bull deserve all the plaudits. The other teams have been caught with their pants down, so to speak. Red Bull cannot believe how far ahead they are. They cannot believe yeah. that the other teams have not caught up. I mean, you've you've heard all of them giving giving quotes to the media saying we do not understand mm. why they haven't They're worked out what we're doing to be left out that far in front. A final word, a quick word for Lando Norris. Noni. Oh yes, okay. So he gets my uh, he got the driver of the day, which is was the Noni the Edwards vote. Award. Or... No, my vote uh, is right. King of Overtaking. King of Overtaking. Okay. He managed, I think it was sixteen overtakes, uh, and that was in two separate two separate stints. So there were two parts of the race. There was a, unfortunately a big red flag in the middle of the race at uh, lap 31, I believe it was, when Kevin Magnussen went into the barriers. He's uninjured, but there was a lot of uh, repair work that had to be done. Right. Anyway, so Lando Norris came from 17th position and made it up to 10th in the first half of the race. After the restart, he had a bad start. He was back in 15th and then finished in 7th. 
Oh, wow. So he made 16 overtakes and he was chuffed. Yeah, he certainly was. A lot of these things are things I've been working on quite a bit, uh, even like tyre management. I don't think today was a race on who had the best car and second best car and third best car. Today was a race on who could manage the tyres the best and keep them under control and these types of things. And that's what I was very strong on and, and did a much better job. And that's something I sucked at a few a few years ago <laughs> and I say even months ago. So today I made the most of every opportunity and, and it all paid off. So a few days, we're off to Brazil. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. Yeah, indeed. Um, okay, so we were talking about George Russell. I think I'd, I'd like to see Russell be the winner of that one. However, he didn't have a good race this time. He was almost overtaken by an Alfa Tauri. <laughs> yeah. He was. That's an augur well for him. But no. uh, hopefully this time next week we'll be toasting a Lewis Hamilton Grand Prix win. <laughs> let's. Noni let's Edwards. make it happen. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for popping in. Thanks, Robbie. 